Hello, hello, today we're gonna be starting our first steel production and Cheap is gonna love it, he is gonna love it. Has to do with the mod Monday. Right, all, all, all jokes. No, there's no joke. We're probably gonna do the, the steel thing anyway. Uh, I just wanted to... Why is this so... Uh, there's something with this mod. Was that a Chris's mod? No, probably not. It has nothing to do probably even with the mod. It's probably something that I did. Yeah, this is a thing Chris's mod. The, 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 what's I call it? Anyway, anyway, um, let's go. Um, Chief mentioned, yeah, the crime injustice, uh, he's bad, good idea, uh, yeah, it's just basic crime injustice, uh, what we did from the beginning, we did, uh, I did start with all the amenities in the game, so police station is the small one that we have here, it's not even fully functional, and we have a small courthouse that we built, again, it has capacity, but as you can see here, we did lower now the amount of punishment we give to people. And what did we say? Then it said that these first guys are the ones who are going to be 13.3 uh, years out of 13.3 years. Wow, he's actually almost out. He got arrested, one of the first inmates. His loyalty is 76%. When they come out, they're going to be freaking presidents. They're going to be diehard loyalists of this country. Whoa, what's the deal with this guy? This is interesting, 4% of the loyalty, crime is zero, that's fine, but 4% loyalty, that's interesting, <clears throat> but he's gonna be here for another three years, so that's gonna improve. 6% over here, uh, 6.9 out of 10 years, oh, that's gonna be interesting, I don't know why they're loyal, some of them have really low loyalty, even after so many years in prison. 80%, uh, this is our new uh, Snežana, Snežana Mihailo Mihailovna. Anyway, anyway, uh, thank you for the comment, uh, content, yes, and coffee, cheers, uh, Dimitri Roski, thanks, uh, Jimmy Rutz, my man, and uh, with Cheeb, yes. <clears throat> So, um, I would decide what I need trains for. Uh, supplying workers, exporting what, importing what, distributing what, give it a purpose. Yes, no, trains are purpose on their own. Uh, all jokes aside, yes, we have. Um, I I have this kind of opinion. First of all, I think, uh, let's see, how, how far are we into this? This is, uh, I'm just going to pause this for a second. Uh, I need to do some calculations here because I have a feeling that I made a mistake with this one, uh, mechanical component factory. I wanted to use it for exports as well, but if I'm either not going to produce our own steel, I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, we're going to do calculations right now, but um, uh, that's one of the things that I really needed to qu quickly pause and uh, we did. Um, right, so I said to cheap uh, crime justice system I, uh, yeah, I have is pretty poor, you're right, and that we need to upgrade it, definitely. I'm not planning to produce uh, the steel, maybe even uh, in these series at all. Yeah, I, I'm not into producing steel now, I'm not sure if I want to do it. Um, trains and the purpose for the trains, uh, trains are the purpose, but I was thinking about bitumen, oil containers for the start, and maybe coal ore. Uh, now that's bul bulky. Yeah, coal ore is way bulkier than coal, and um, I was thinking maybe at reviving the coal mine and just shipping the coal out uh, with the trains. Um, also, manufacturing. Hear me out. Don't hear me out. But manufacturing, literally exporting the trains itself. Um, <clears throat> this is the, the problem with these games that we are always focusing on the um, on the uh, resources of the country. Yes, you should re um, uh, focus on that. But some countries, smaller countries, like let's say, I don't know, Singapore, um, uh, any, like even countries like Switzerland uh, or Ireland, uh, they're based on services or manufacturing, uh, and uh, that's what we should do, Bangladesh. We don't have to have natural resources in order to, to export it. We can we can do manufacturing. We can export education. Canada, I think, exports education. I think Ireland as well. I think Australia exports a lot of education to, to China. A lot of Chinese students are in Canada and paying enormous amounts of money for to get uh, Australian education. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, mathematics time. So, um, the, in this case, manufacturing... Yeah, right, right, right. Let's go back to, the, to cover this first. Uh, manufacturing, uh, exporting of uh, trains, locomotives. 
just that. Literally, I'm pretty fine with doing that. So building basic infrastructure from, let's say, somewhere where we can have the next uh, train production line or something like that, and then export locomotives um, with uh, mostly imported steel and stuff. But uh, again, calculations will have to be made. Okay, that being said, uh, let's go back to actual reality, what we are doing at the moment. I was thinking of building a mechanical component factory and exporting mechanical components. Now, the problem is that I know for a fact that uh, previously this was not profitable or it was uh, close to zero or at least even or even zero. So we're going to just double check all of this that we're doing here. So we need a mechanical, electrical, electrical, mechanical component factory. Here we go. We have the bigger one from Rob's. That would be this one. I believe, mm, yeah, that's the one, uh, this factory. So this factory has like this, it uh, turns 11 tons of steel into seven and a half tons of mechanical components. Can we export that? Is that exportable? If we import the steel, of course it's exportable, but if we import the steel, we are wasting around uh, one third. This is around one third. Uh, I can calculate this. Calculator. So we have uh, 7.5 divided by 11 times 100. 68%. <clears throat> so we are uh, using only 68% of steel. Rest of it is wasted. So what do we get here? What do we get with this? If we go to our uh, prices. So let's go with the uh, price of the materials. We're importing, importing steel. Plastic steel, here we go. 550 rubles per ton, per ton, per ton. That would be uh, 6,000 rubles. We import 6,000 rubles, and then we export mechanical components worth 800, uh, let's calculate this. Uh, da -da -da, delete, we need 828 eight times 7.5. 6,000 rubles. <clears throat> so we import 6,000 rubles and we export 6,000 rubles. It is not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it if we are not um, producing uh, raw materials ourselves. So um, at the moment, I'm going to go into more details because 6,200 rubles is the uh, current price of the mechanical components. Mechanic comps. Uh, one more time, I'm gonna just recalculate this. 7.5 times 626, 626. So 826, 826. 826, um, I'm gonna disregard. Uh, 6,195, and then we have, uh, again, uh, going to details, import of steel will be 550 times 11. 6050 so we'll be earning per workday few hundred rubles and we have to buy machinery and everything else yeah if i'm not gonna go for steel this is not worth it this is not worth it this is not worth it i think this factory that i'm building here might be too big uh and might not be the best investment for the first go now warehouse we can use okay let's do electrical components even with the imported uh, parts so and will be we will have chemicals chemical production is being um is being well built here so we're gonna focus on that in this episode uh i think we we might I, i'm pretty sure we're not gonna see this operating now but um but yay uh, hey uh let's go with these guys over here you can go oh this is already selected they, they need materials and this one of course is is working on the constructing this uh that's fine that's fine that's fine anything built here yeah we can go and upgrade this to gravel roads gravel road gravel road okay second calculation we're gonna do now if you guys know already this, uh, congratulations, you're better than I am. That's not hard. Yeah, this is me uh, dismissing your good effort in trying to be hard. Um, being better than me, it's not really that hard. Uh, so anyway, uh, we need to calculate our second export. That would be the uh, what I was m thinking of doing, the, um, the electrical components electrical components is that valuable export or not so let's go into the uh, prices 
electrical components would be on the first page. No, where are you? Where are you? Here. Electrical components, fine. Um, let's see the factory. If we decide to go for factory, oh, do we have any research that we need to do while we're talking so we can do the research? Uh, we have electronic circuits. Uh, yeah, that's fine. What's our college education percentage? Uh, oh, 18%. Uh, should we? Yes, we should. 65. Yeah. Let's increase the amount of uh, college educated people. 18% is fine, but uh, looks like it dropped pretty quickly. So we need to be on top of that. Uh, Ele uh, electrical components. Electrical components would be over here. Our, uh, this is assembly hall, electrical component factory. Uh, something that produces a little bit more plastics. Plastics. We can build plastics. And we need uh, 18, and uh, he's going to be our leader of pl pl minister of plastics. Uh, electrical components, plastics, chemicals, and steel. Steel is only small amount. That's perfect. Uh, five tons per day. And then we have 1.8. So obviously we're gonna go. If we go for a bigger one, this is. Let's go for this big one. What is the pollution? Pollution is low. This is what we need. Low pollution. Um, five tons of electrical components. So uh, end result. Let's start calculating. End result will be five tons of electrical components. Uh, that would be electrical components. 2160, let's calculate this, uh, 2160, 56, 56 times 5, that's 10,000 rubles, 10,000 rubles per day would be our exports if we decide to go for electrical components, and uh, how much do they cost to build, and so 10,780, and then how much it costs to build, we need to go and check the electrical components, uh, two tons of plastics, which we can make ourselves. Two tons of steel, which we already calculated that is uh, 850 something. 850, let's go with 850. Uh, 856. So that means 1,712. 1,700. For 10,000, that's not bad. But we need to produce our own chemicals. This is 1.6 tons per day. That's a lot. And we need to produce our own plastics, which we are not doing at the moment. Two tons per day. This is not a lot. Plastics is easy. We should be able to do it easily. Okay, let's go with that then. Uh, we're going to stop, uh, stop construction of these uh, ma machine parts because we want, to utilize, um, we want to utilize our workforce. And I'm going to go and try to build the electrical component factory rather than this one. Okay, so we already researched the uh, first part of these electrical components, and then later on we're going to consider these assembly holes and stuff. But for now, we're going to be sticking to the sticking to the man. Sticking to the man. We will be um, sticking to the plan of uh, having seriously excavators missing now. Uh, do we want this close? Let's see how the connections will work here. If I put it, if I put it here, seriously. Okay, I think that's. It. I think this is decent. Decent, and we can uh, fix some of the stuff that we have over here. That should be fine. And then we need to lower the amount of workers working here to zero. Uh, footpaths and build them all. And this is really short road. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna need the footpath office. Uh, why is Murmansk not working on this? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put footpath just because I know that they're specialized in this, but uh, Murmansk uh, office should be working on this. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Although it is fine, as previously mentioned, fine. Uh, rest of the construction, they can continue, they can go to hell. And now, the best building that um, is gonna be around here, the best... Uh, can I put this? Workers in the field. I wanted to connect this construction, this little thing that Chief is going to be ecstatic about. That would be the new mod Monday. Now I'm recording this on Monday, so for me it's today, but for you it's yesterday. If you watched, or well, it depends where you're in the world, but if you watch the mod Monday that we released 24 hours ago from now, you will know that we had a little bit of a steel production steel mill now steel mill is something absolutely fabulous this is the steel mill the steel mill of this for the centuries steel mill for the ages 
Now, this is perfectly fine. I don't care about this steel mill. I'm just looking how to um, how to remove the workers not to go to the fields, to fields, if I connect this to the city. Now, I wanted to build this in honor of Chib. I wanted to build it in the uh, Chibobo part of the, of the city, where the workers where the workers from uh, Chibobo can actually go and work. Uh, <clears throat> can go and work here. It will generate pollution, but it's not that much, and I wanted to see what the effect of uh, this on people is. So if you can see here, um, this is the one, the small city, uh, what's it called? The small, small city forge. I think, oh, I forgot to wear the description, what did they say in description, what it is. This is a forge, it produces very, very, very small amount of um, steel, uh, produces 0 0.2 tons of steel. Uh, we currently don't have any of our, actually we have uh, coal, so yeah, we can do that. So I'm gonna just put this and put it to zero, let them finish this forge first. And I will put a couple of, not couple of, I'm going to put a footpad going here. Um, yeah, like this. And this is where the workers, there's only five workers that can work in this little forge. They do require two tons of coal per day. What's the storage capacity? I didn't check that when I was reviewing the mod. Storage capacity for coal in here is... Six tons, which is enough for three days of work. Now, three days of work, um, can they go and get, fetch the coal in three days? Probably, I don't know, from there all the way here. Maybe they can, maybe they can't, we'll see. And iron ore will have to be imported. Now, there's going to be a lot of vehicles involved in this. Uh, we're going to have to get the steel out, deliver the coal, deliver the iron, and um, yeah... That's gonna be tricky, uh, because I don't want to put pressure on the border crossing with the truck going there, back, there, back, there, back constantly. I wanted to have a stockpile of um, iron ore. I don't know. Um, let's let's leave it. Let's let's finish it first, and then we're gonna focus on it. Uh, one other thing I forgot to build around here is a distribution office for uh, distribution office for both. Uh, delivery of the materials that we're gonna be, uh, get here and also for uh, distribution or uh, exports. Uh, I'm gonna build two distribution offices, one for the materials being brought. Why not the same? Uh, I don't think I still understand the learnings. Why, why am I not building the same? Or why should I build the same? Uh, 15 vehicles, that's a lot. I don't think we're gonna need that. I think we're gonna need smaller. I think eight vehicles will be fine. F1, rotate. F1 again, I'm gonna make it look nicer like this. Long enough, that's fine. Zero, so distribution office here. It's gonna be distributing materials for for construction, for electrical components and all. Uh, that should be fine, that should be fine. Okay, uh, anything else I would like to do? No, 17 minutes of uh, nothing, 17 minutes of, of me talking about nothing. Uh, we can actually do a time lapse and uh, finish some of the construction. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, another distribution office that I did not build over here, and it should be. So I'm gonna go and uh, let's see the map. Whoa, whoa! Electricity problems. Is it still? No, it's not still. But still, it's it's not ideal that it happened, unfortunately. That's fine. Go away. Um, distribution office for chemicals. I'm going to build that. Let's do that in the time lapse. Uh, see you in five.
Right, okay, it's uh, night is falling. No, uh, it's прекрасно. The night is beautiful. Uh, right, let's go and see what else we can assign to the construction. We have one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, four. Let's go finish plumbing. One, two, four, one. Go for a priority. We're missing electricity hoses as well. Uh, this is big water pumping station, unfinished plumbing, one, two, four, this is number two, let's go assign it, and then we have unfinished road, that's long enough, uh, the, they can be done by automation, uh, Mormon's warehouse, go away, council house, we can do that, uh, number four, let's go that first. Uh, why are you not working? You have everything. Vehicles are not leaving. Perfect, perfect. Beautiful. Uh, no vehicle, no workers. I don't know, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna assign more because I'm looking for electricity infrastructure. We have the, the, the pumping station, plumbing, plumbing, council house, plumbing, sewage, plumbing, Factory connection? Nope. Switch. Seriously? What's with the infrastructure? F3, let's go underground. Cables done. Cables done. Whoa, did they finish everything? No, this one here. <gasps> Not even assigned. Darn it. I knew it. Dumbass didn't do it. Okay, let's do that. This uh, groundwork. Groundwork, uh, dumpers, transport, assign straight away. We need straight away bus four. Let's go with bus four uh, so they can finish this as soon as possible. This takes only 30 days to build. The most problematic is going to be getting all the materials here. We had, the, while we were working, we had a little bit of a problem with uh, the bitumen. You probably saw that. And uh, like I mentioned before, we can less and less rely on the exports of fossil fuels. Um, we do have a few tons of bitumen left, but uh, not even close. Uh, this little guy that can, this little engine that could, is delivering uh, bitumen here. And like filling this tank with bitumen, 250 tons, even if he makes it, which he will never do, because uh, we don't have enough. We need bitumen for the coke coking plant that is creating a little bit more fuel that's fine we're gonna have more fuel when we need that's also great what's with this why are you guys not exporting fuel uh maybe because there's one by one trucks coming in because this one is gonna take uh ta -ta -ta. yeah this one is gonna take more than 10 percent of fuel we can check this real quickly uh 60 59 they're probably gonna send another truck soon enough we do have like like i said what's happening here we have this refinery area how it's built i'm gonna go and just cover it real quickly after they're filling done filling uh, this tank yeah it's still over 50 percent i'm pretty sure that the next truck is on the way already okay so what's happening here we have oil uh, or fuel being delivered here it's being processed in the refinery you can see that we have less people in the refinery than i would like to this is why i bought these uh, colorful new buses which we're gonna create a new bus line delivering uh i think two of them will be enough delivering workers here off you go and i'm gonna copy paste you to another another bus i think yellow one we never used blue we didn't use blue ever what i'm missing is end station here end station i'm gonna build do i want to build it right next here maybe maybe a little bit further let's go with the end station all the way here uh later probably it's gonna be developed a little bit better end station that's under stations right if i was an end station where would i be uh, tram stops. No, these are stops. Bus platforms. I think it would be under platforms. No. Where are the end stations? Small parking dealer, road cargo station, technical services, bus stops. Oh, it's in depots, right? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously. Obviously. The, the, something stupid like this can only be invented by 3 Division. Like, end station. It's an end station end station jesus christ okay um instead of actually making the you know the the, the buses being equally uh f away from each other work in a way that 
you have the when you say the equal spacing between the vehicles when you click on that and it actually works they decided to invent a building that is called a bus end station yes perfect i actually have something to moan about end station you know the old the infrastructure of the public transport system when you have you know when you need to build the uh when you need to build like subway station maybe the 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 depots where they're managed and stuff you know like and then you have to build an end station like end station is a thing in the real world it's not it's not it's invented by three division and end stations doesn't don't exist yeah well in, except in this game of course and because reasons um there we go i'm happy now i could moan uh let's see where we go a little bit angly 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 uh i noticed here first of all we have 17 percent of our uh, workforce is college educated which is fine i want it around 15 percent uh what we're missing here look at the number look at the number 21s without flats the whole country is full of people workers we have eight percent unemployment which eight percent with this population means a lot of people 500 people not working that's why we implemented the new bus lines bringing people from uh, Fort Elgin into the uh, into the industrial area over here. I was thinking of upgrading uh, these pads here. Why in the hell I still have this and this? I was thinking of upgrading these roads. Uh, I'm not sure how much problems I'm gonna be causing for myself. Seriously, come on, come on, come on, go bus. There we go. Um, yeah roundabouts who said that they don't work i think they work actually i think they work better than the i think roundabouts work way better than the uh without roundabouts uh they do have yeah i, I just think they work better when they need to go on the second exit you're gonna see here when they're going on a second exit oh sometimes they go in the even here but that's fine. I think they're working fine. I'm happy with the roundabout. I think I should have built a bigger one. Why did he slow down? Probably different speeds of vehicles, but doesn't matter. You can see here. Oh, first workers. 30, 32 of them. First workers. Uh, they're actually both buses are, are the same, unfortunately, because we don't have the uh, end station. End station. Be because we don't have the end station set up here in this uh, city yet uh we couldn't properly manage our public transport which is you know kind of first world problem or whatever at least we are first world right the last thing i'm gonna do in this episode is uh, i'm gonna have to uh, uh, continue whoa 21 what happened to people now did we get uh, somebody dying no we actually have increase in population uh happiness is fine government loyalty is 62 percent that's fine as well radio station is spewing our propaganda left and right which is great and we have prison prison is only th three quarters full three two thirds full which is great as well uh, we have groundworks working here asphalt being delivered that's working um less and less fossil fuels uh coal is something that we're gonna have way way less of and uh, now did we have the distribution here we did we did we did a distribution uh from the border crossing no more you're gonna go here and you're gonna be loading bricks from here so from now on we're gonna have homemade bricks unfortunately it's gonna take a while for us to uh, get up to speed with production and i'm gonna put this in low 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 numbers um uh, of productivity because we don't we don't have enough coal produced out of this delayed coker uh, again the reason bitumen we're lacking bitumen i think we can lower this this number of workers to let's say 10. actually i'm gonna go 20 because i know that we need two college educated people at the same time working in the factory so 20 was probably gonna be the best refinery uh is something where we need more workers i'm kind of hoping that uh delivering these new workers from the oh they didn't check if this worked uh, yeah they, they delivered all the workers i was wondering if somebody was left on the bus no no they're they're all full uh they're they delivered all the people okay should i is this gonna cause some problems for us if i upgrade this to asphalt let's see 
upgrade bit by bit. Uh, we have bitumen. We have bitumen. 17 tons of bitumen is stored already. Okay, that's about it. I want to leave it here. We have a lot of uh, things happening. We have a lot of constructions being constructed. Uh, this is the most important dumbass thing that I did. Uh, I didn't uh, finish this substation, which is really important. You're kidding me. They still didn't deliver everything. <sighs> How much of a dumbass can I be? You know what I'm going to do here? This is uh, already high priority. I'm going to put the workers to work here. At least five of them. They're going to finish everything in time. As soon as the materials are delivered, they're going to be finishing everything. And five workers, more or less. That's not a big deal. Our steel works. Steel works. They're still not done. Actually, I can put even locals to work on this one. This is 182 days. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to be more than happy to work on their own means of production in this case. Okay, okay, uh, more pro traffic problems. Why is that gas station? Really? Are we running out of gas? Okay, only a few of them, that's fine. Okay, there's more and more coming in. Slightly worried. Okay, so what's with fuel? What's happening with fuel? There was a gas station around here. Didn't I build one? Here. It has fuel. Okay, they obviously just needed fuel. I think I'm gonna go for another... No, we have here a gas station. And it's full of fuel. No, we have one gas station here, one here, one in Murmansk. Do we have... We have one over here in uh, Elgin. Fort Elgin. That's fine. Uh, I said I'm gonna build the residential areas because all of these are full. We're gonna need some sports complexes for our people. Let's build that. Uh, -dum 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 -dum. Oh, pool. Do we have indoor pool? Uh, isn't there in tourist area as well sports facilities that we can use? Indoor pool, school gym. I want another pool more than school gym 60. School gym, school gym, school gym. I'll go away with your school gym, school gym, school gym, school gym. School and gym. Uh, we have sports hall. Smaller, bigger school, gym, who knew? Ah, uh, sports hall, okay. Uh, maybe this, maybe this. Yeah, let's do it like this. Sports hall. Okay, this is gonna be enough. And then let's go connect this to the... Doesn't matter, like here. So they have access for construction purposes. We're gonna know. We're gonna need to build a monument. Let's go for vanilla. This is small enough. Uh, yeah, sure. No rush. No rush over here. Uh, build it whenever you can. Uh, a couple of trees around here. Uh, no street lights. Street lights. Street lights. Street lights. I wanna. I wanna start making this. You know, good. I wanna be nice, mayor. Because you guys, uh, honorary mayors, you always make mistakes. I don't want to be a nicer mayor. There we go. Ooh, does this even have access to electricity? F3 uh, electricity is here. I'm going to bring more electricity here. Uh, I'm never going to finish this episode. Lower to zero. Bang, there we go. Uh, this is going to be finished eventually, so we're going to have electricity. We don't think this is going to have electricity anyway. But uh, propaganda, substations, uh, you guys need sewage. Oh, darn. This never ends. F3 sewage, is connection is there. F3 uh, again, rotate this in this direction. Rotate, rotate, rotate. F1, that's fine, no connection. Lower the amount of workers to zero. Create a footpath. Footpath is connected. Uh, in front of that, we're gonna need another 
uh, switch switch uh, going in that direction that's perfect uh, again this one cannot have any workers assigned to it go to zero and build mud roads mud footpaths underground switch big switch pipes that's what she said and then we go all the way here and here there we go build switch is going to be built as well uh, and i said i'm going to build residential areas i didn't build a single building okay let's try now uh, I will never end this episode. I will never end recording of this episode because it lasts forever and ever. It's like a groundhog day. <sighs> what is this? Corner? I don't want corner. 80% quality. Come on, we're better than this. 75. Jesus. Um... Council homes, row council homes. 55 plus 85. Here we go. Okay, done. Uh, like this F1, F1. Uh, minus workers to zero. Oh, I'm, so, I'm not ending this episode, by the way. If you're still watching this, I feel sorry for you. It shouldn't be because I'm just continuing, just warming up. We, this is gonna be forever episode. Plant trees, plant trees. We need some street lights. Street lights. Oh no, no, I'm not F1. And go back to trees. And then a few trees around here. I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to stop. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.